And now let's see how can we solve this. On the top, let's ignore the milliliters. We just have x plus y is equal to 70. That's the first equation. And then for the second equation, I have 0.32x. So let me write this down, 0.32x plus 0.6y equals 2. And don't forget to multiply these two all together. 0.4 times 70, that gives us 28. So must multiply this out. Okay. And our goal is to solve for x and solve for y, and that will get you the answer. Let's do it. How would you like to solve for this? You can use the substitution method. You can use the elimination method. Let's use the elimination method. Let's get rid of the x first. Okay. Here is x. Here is 0.32x. I will just multiply everything on the top by negative 0.32. Okay. Across the first equation. This way. I will produce another equation on the top. Negative 0.32 times x. That's just negative 0.32x. Negative 0.32 times y is minus 0.32 y. And that will give us negative 0.32 times 70. That should be negative 22.4. Okay, and then for the second equation, since I didn't touch it, let me just bring it down. 0.32x plus 0.6y equals to 28. Okay. So now we're just going to add these two equations together, and then you see that negative 0.32x will cancel with this positive 0.32x. So the x are gone, and we will just have the y left. So right here, negative 0.32y plus 0.6y, we are going to get 0.28y. That's equal to and this is negative 22.4 plus 28, and that will give you 5.6. We have 0.28y is equal to 5.6. So we just need to divide both sides by 0.28, divide both sides by 0.28. So that this and that cancels. y equals to 5.6 divided by 0.28. We will get 20 for y. Okay. Well, we are almost done. We know y is equal to 20. We have to come back to this equation and solve for x. So x plus y, I know y is equal to 20 now, and that will give us 70. Well, we can subtract 20 on both sides. This way, they cancel out, and then x will be 70 minus 20, which is 50. That's it. But then you have to answer the question carefully. x is what? x is the amount of milliliters that you want for the 32%. So this is for the 32% solution. And then for the 20, the y, y is for the 60% solution. So the 20 for the 60% solution. So we just have to make sure that you choose the answer correctly. Choice C is the one that we want. Okay? And be extremely careful because you see a 50, 20 here, but then right here they have 20 and 50. Make sure that you pick the right one. Okay, that's it. Let me draw you a happy face.